bruh, keep on court Turn up the slap and let it die Yes, yeah In, in Virginia, the Kluge estate, I bought it. Bought it out of bankruptcy. Good deal. I'd make good deal. <laughs> if they were in for 178 million, I bought it All for right, 6 so anyway, million. Are you, you proud of me? Yeah, so, could you do me a heck. favor? Would you introduce me a couple of weeks ago? It's 11. I, she I said, know Daddy, it's 11. I don't know if now, it's Ivanka 10. Ivanka went to Wharton. She was a phenomenal student. You know, she was a very successful model, and then she just gave it up cold turkey. She went to the Wharton School of Finance. She was a phenomenal student and does great. Democratic candidates, Hillary Clinton included, Nancy Pelosi. You explained away those donations, saying you did that to get business-related favors. And you said recently, quote, when you give, they do whatever the hell you want them to do. You better believe it. So what specifically did they do? If I ask them, if I need them, you know, most of the people on this stage I've given to, just so you understand, a lot of money. I will tell you that our system is broken. I give to many people. Before this, before two months ago, I was a businessman. I give to everybody. When they call, I give. And you know what? When I need something from them, two years later, three years later, I call them. They are there for me. So what was your first thought when you heard him criticize you for speaking Spanish? <laughs> I laughed. I mean, this is a joke. I was in a, 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 uh... Well, first of all, the law is a disaster, not what the president just said. It's a total disaster. It's a big lie. He got it by lying 28 different times. So it's the big lie. And Justice Roberts, who approved it, and approved it the first time, which was even worse, frankly, because that would have ended it entirely. He was put there by Bush, and Jeb Bush is the one that was pushing him. He really wanted Justice Roberts to be there. So when they vote for Jeb Bush, they ought to remember that Jeb Bush was pushing Roberts, and Roberts is the one. They might as well call it the Roberts Obamacare, because honestly, that's what it is. And uh, that's what we have. So we're stuck with it, at least for a while. You've been absolutely on target. So what I'm asking is, though, can you speak to the crossroads we're at right now, though? Because you've talked about it. Are we at a crossroads to decide whether this country's done or whether we go to the next level? Well, I think this, I think that, sadly, I think that if we don't get it right this time, I think this is going to be the most important election our country's ever had. I mean, you'd have to say George Washington was, was right there. You know, the couple of pretty important elections, right? But this is certainly in the last, in the modern era, this is the most important election, election our country's ever had. If we don't get it right, if we put another one of these people in, like Hillary, I mean, she, she's so corrupt. She is so corrupt. And she shouldn't even be allowed to run. And frankly, her greatest legacy, she was a horrible Secretary of State. If she's, if she runs, I think her greatest legacy will be that she got out of the email scandal. That's what I think. Don't play her shit, cause bitch, I'm a player. I keep the toaster.